Hi, in this demo video of Phone Titan and Salesforce, I will show you how you can work with our integration logs to diagnose any kind of issues that we have with the Salesforce integration. What I'll do is I'll build a simple form that will create an account in Salesforce. So let's bring an input text box and I'll call that account name. I'll bring in another one for the account number. and the last one for the account type okay I don't know if you know but in order to have the actual options for the account type you don't need to put them on yourself what you can do is you can go to the Salesforce integration get from Salesforce map fields and then click on add object to select the account object here is the account object I'll run it when the form loads and I'll configure it to have a condition that will never happen, such as account ID is empty. That will never happen, obviously, in Salesforce. But that's only so we can map the account type dropdown. Now, because this runs when the form loads, it will populate the options from account type to our account type dropdown. Okay, uh, but that's not what I wanted to show you today. What I want to show you today is the integration log. So let's click edit to create an account under push to Salesforce. And then again, click on add object to add the account object. So I select account. The action is create. And then all I have to do is map my fields. So I'll map the account name over, the account type over, and the account number. Okay click apply and actually what I'll do is I will not map the account name I'll leave it empty and that's just to simulate an error so we click save and let's run this form now so if I click view you can see now I've got the types which is good and I can put in a name test account for example one two three and I click submit now, we say submitting your form and thank you to the end user because we don't know, want them to know about errors, although you can tick the box to show them errors, that's not a problem. But now we will get an email as well as we can see the errors in the integration log. So obviously we'll get an email with an error, but we can go to the integration log and see in here exactly what's happened. So we can see that we got an error just now that says account, and if I scroll to the right, required field missing name so straight away we know oh we forgot to map the account name to the account name field in Salesforce so let's do that now I click edit for the push and then edit on the account create and I'll go to the map fields and obviously map the account name this time properly okay so that's all done and nice but obviously the user has already submitted the form i don't want him to come and submit it again he doesn't need to i can just go to the integration log again locate the error like this one and click resubmit that will take the form data resubmit it and we can see that it's created the account if i scroll to the right again it's created the account this is the account id i can click on it and go to the salesforce object that's just been created and you can see I've got the correct account number, the correct account name, and the correct type we have entered in our account. That's how easy it is to work with our integration logs to diagnose issues and see if everything is working correctly. Thank you very much.